Welcome back friends this is Ram here and it's 24th tutorial on JavaFX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see the relation between the list view and database. That is how to add database values into the list view. So let's start. This is the 24th tutorial on list view and database now we are going to add a list view so in the bottom of the application add so list view say list equals to new list view and in the list view I am going to add the observable list elements that is we are used in the combo box this options we are going to add in the in the list view so it will add all the first names of the database into the list view that is the elements in the combo box are the same as like in the list view so list view we are going to add options in the list view so next fix the import for the list view ok and now I am going to set the maximum size for list view so set max size say max width 100 and max height say 250 next is I'm going to add this list into the our scene so sec in the second scene so layout dot set and I'm going to set this list view in the the left of the border pane so set in the left and the node value is list so and I'm going to add some margin so border pane dot set margin for the list and add some inserts so that is new inserts and say 10 from all the side that is top right bottom and left now save this and check whether the list is appeared in the scene or not so initial username is ram and password is ram so So here you can see that the the list view which is appeared in the left of the border pane with the some initial observable list items like combo box. So these are the options we are fetched from the database into a list view. Now we are going to add one set on action method for, for the list view like a combo box. Now we are going to add that when we click on one of the list element it will fetch the information related to the user into the text field. So I am going to close this and come to back in the application and I am going to increase the scene size to 1200 so its width will be 1200 height will be 600 and it will not be congested so now 
this is our application with a space in each element it will be now good so next I'm going to add one action method for list view and to do that I'm going to copy this try catch block from set on action method of combo box and I'm going to set here uh, action method for so we have to add set on mouse clicked method for the list view when we click one of the list view content using the mouse it will choose or fetch the elements from the database and add to the text field so we are going to add set on mouse clicked method so and in this we are going to use a lambda expression and in this I am going to paste the this strike catch block where which we have used in the combo box so we have added a try catch block to fetch the database content into a text field so we have initially fired fired a query with us for and with for selected element we have to change here for the list and it will choose the list element and fetch the items database content into the text field now save this and check whether the action performs or not so initial username and password is ram so i'm going to check whether this will work or not on clicking any of the users here rahul so we can see that the click mouse click on method is working when we choose any user it will set the content into the text field so these four first four users don't have any date of birth so that's not adding any date of birth field so this is the tutorial on list view and database that is how to add a database value into a list view and how to fetch list view content into the text field so if you have any question about this tutorial or doubt ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on alapureram at the rate gmail.com and finally if you really like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial